good morning. It is Thursday morning. I am going to work with Byron and then I'm going to Uber to LAX from there because it's just closer than our house. I'm going to Florida today for the protocol. Woo! Hello friends, I just got to my hotel. I'm in Florida. It is so humid. Um, right now it's November, like the first week of November and it's like pretty hot and humid. Here's my room, I already took a shower, and I have a double bed, all for me. Um, it's currently 11 o'clock, so it feels weird because there's a time change from California. I need to go to bed soon, and um, that's the microwave. Downstairs, when I checked in, there were some like frozen meals or whatever, so I just picked one up. I picked up two like alcoholic beverages just to wind down some water. And when I checked in, they gave me this bag, um, which I thought was really cool. The itinerary is printed out on there. And then there's like some water, um, coffee cups, and this I thought was clutch because I actually just started my time of month. Too much TMI, I know, but I, I tend to do that sort of thing on this vlog if you're not. <laughs> If you're not always watching the vlog, I do that. Anyways, there's Advil in here, which is a godsend. So thank you to the team over there for looking out. Good looking out. So let's go through the itinerary really quickly. Um, today, again, is Thursday. Tomorrow morning, I have to wake up, you know, and be ready downstairs by seven o'clock. There's a shuttle that picks us all up from each different hotel. There's three of them that it comes to. So my hotel is the Marriott. It happens to be pick up at seven o'clock, which is later than the other one. So the other people have to get up even earlier than me. Woohoo! So I get a few more minutes to do my hair. And then there's breakfast at 7.15 until eight o'clock. Um, and then we go like, I think straight through with like, there's coffee, coffee and snack breaks, lunch, there's things all the way up until like 4.45 is when we end the first day. And then they'll drop us back off at our hotels, we get ready and then we're gonna go to dinner tomorrow. They supposedly have a really good breakfast. So they say like, don't eat the hotel food before you come, don't drop by Starbucks, like you don't need to, everything will be there. Okay, you guys, so I am back. It's Friday, so first day of protocol is over. It's like five o'clock right now. At six o'clock, we're gonna hop on the shuttle and go to dinner at that restaurant, um, the Michael Jordan one, the, I think it's called 1000 North or something like that, but it's supposed to be fun. And let me kind of like briefly recap what we learned today. The Class size is around 14. I think it was half women, half men. Um, so there's there like a good split. And there are people all in all phases of their journey as a dentist. Um, some people are in the startup phase. Actually, I think quite a, a couple of people were in the startup phase. Um, and then I, I believe most of the rest are practice owners. <laughs> it does get kind of chilly in there. I just think in Florida it's so hot that they're always pumping the AC. And I learned that people do that on purpose in courses because they want people to stay awake. But I'm like the opposite, so I always like bring a jacket because I don't want to be cold. So bring something warm, but they actually have like blankets and stuff if you get cold and they literally have like everything like you do not need to bring a single thing um they have pens they have notebooks that you can write on they have food they have coffee they have like breakfast they have snacks they have everything like even in the bathroom oh <laughs> here's what's clutch uh i kind of shared tmi moment but i 
I'm on my period. They have like tampons. Can you imagine like Ritter and Ramsey are like these big guys and they have tampons <laughs> in, in the drawer if you need that. On the desk, they have charging stations. So if you wanted to take notes on your iPad or whatever, or just want to charge your phone, you can always plug things in there. I feel like I should say, why you would want to take this course or why why i want to take this course is because i've taken the coist curriculum and i learned so much in that like week but i you know totally failed at implementing it i feel like with what i do every day um i'm comfortable with like smile designing and things like that but when it comes to opening the bite for an entire arch that um I kind of just wanted someone's recipe on how to do it digitally. All right, so the first day they go over more like mindset stuff, which I think is equally as important when you're doing big cases like this. Mindset has been one of those things that I've really had to realize is holding me back in my career. So the first thing that Drs. Ritter and Ramsey went over is initial consultation and how they go over the initial consultation, their scripting and what they say. Obviously, you know, like as a woman, I may say something a little differently. Um, and depending on who you are, you may say things a little bit differently. You may not agree with the way that they say certain things, but the, but the psychology behind what they say and when they say it, it all just makes sense. And those are all things that I want to take back and sort of make into my own. So I thought that was super fascinating. I felt like the verbiage that they used to go over these cases with patients was kind of cool to see. Like honestly, for me, I do my consultations just because that's the way that I've found works for me, but um, I always want to learn more from other people on like what they say and what is really, really impactful and um, why they say certain things. Like again, human psychology is super, super interesting to me and they they understand that a lot. One of the reasons I chose this course is because both Ritters and Ramsey have gone through Kois, Spear, like Panky, um, they've done it all. And at a certain point in my career, I was like, should I take Dawson, Spear, Kois, whatever? And I decided on Kois, but I would like to know from somebody who's taken them all, how they have synthesized all this information to um, not only technically do these open like open opening these bites but also to make the office structured so that everybody on the team is on the same page then on this first day they also go over kind of the envelope of function which is a concept that i learned in coice and how to tell which cases you would want to open up the vertical on and then they did like an overview of doing the digital records the photography the diagnostic appointments like how they do all that and then we're going to dive more into depth on that tomorrow okay so i am ready here's the fit i am doing a valentino moment Hey, so it's still Friday night. We just got back from dinner. Dinner was delicious. It was really nice. Um, the restaurant was beautiful and it was like a private room. That's all for tonight. Good night, guys. What's up, guys? It is Saturday. Oh my God, it's like 11.16. 11.16, I'm so tired. I just got back from dinner, me and maybe five other people from the protocol. We all went out to dinner at like, what's this place called? I don't know. What's up? Um, so I ran out of battery when I was going over what you learn on day two. And I'm home, as you can tell. I, I got home yesterday and I was so jet lagged. I just had a really, really good night's sleep last night. Before I forget everything that happened on day two, we started off with breakfast and then we went straight into dentistry. So day one was more like how to acquire the patients, um, how to do your marketing, how to get out there and get the patients and all that. 
Day two is more of like the technical parts of the dentistry. So day two is really where they rolled out their protocol. Now I see why this course is called the protocol because it's not just about opening a bite, it's about how they have been able to figure out how to open the bite super predictably from patient to patient to patient to patient. And theoretically, I understand how to open the bite, but what was very, very impactful about the way that they do things is that they're doing these cases all day, all night. So they have a lot of checks and balances to make sure that by the time they get to the cementation appointment, there's like practically no adjustments that are needed. And what was really cool is their lab guy was sitting in the back. So while we were learning all this, if there was like any sort of a uh, question that Dr. Ritter had for the lab guy or Dr. Ramsey had for the lab guy. He was in the back there and he could explain. Um, like even when it comes to like different 3D printers or what you should buy, that lab guy is like a wealth of knowledge. In terms of opening bite, they go over the steps simply, but they also do like scenarios where let's say a patient comes in with some crazy implants that you don't know what they are. Like you would want to sequence that very differently than somebody who has just all straight teeth already, right? So they go over a bunch of those scenarios. Um, they even go over like what burrs they use and Dr. Ritter even spends some time going over his crown preps and how to make sure that your crown preps are are good for the lab. I will say that a lot of what they do are full crown preps. Now, for me and my patient demographic, I don't know how that would go over. But like I was saying the first day, I'm here to learn what they do so that I can customize it for myself. So even with their scripting, I wanna know what they say so that I can make kind of like a, a script that works for me or like I have my own communication style and every dentist will have their own communication style. Actually, between Ritters and Ramsey, they're both so different and they're like good examples of people who do things on the same page but have a different approach with how they communicate with different patients. We also got our boxes which are like these huge boxes full of full-size products and what's important to know about the protocol is that it's not sponsored by any of these companies like they're not paid to sponsor a specific material or whatever but because Dr. Ritter has very good relations in the industry those companies have readily given us like huge full-size products so that we can just take them home and get started right away. So you guys, you have to you have to make room in your suitcase for this. <laughs> my suitcase, like I literally took out all the clothes, I put them all in my body so that I could go into the airport and then I put that big box into my suitcase. My suitcase was gonna pop. <laughs> but I'm a carry-on travel girl, so I'm not gonna check anything. So I just wore all the clothes and put the thing in my suitcase and brought it home. But yeah, it, there's a lot of stuff in there. Anyways, Dr. Ritter goes over like a quick overview of the current cements, current uh, bonding agents and things like that that are recommended these days and the evidence behind all that. Uh, he basically was saying that it was like a two day, two day lecture just combined into like 15 minutes. I mean, I think in a nutshell, that's a good way to describe this course. Because for me personally, I went through the first two courses of COIS and it was almost like information overload. Like I'm really glad that I learned it and I would say that everybody in the course who, who did go through COIS, we all felt the same way in that we like learning all the information. A lot of the protocol is based on COIS principles. So they're not saying that this is a replacement for that, but you like learn so much in the COIS curriculum and then this course just helps you to like chop it up and then take what you need so that you can do this practically in your in your practice. And you know, I think like us dentists, let me not speak for all dentists, but for me, I overcomplicate things inside my own head. I like to know all the details and I like to know like, you know, all the science and the evidence behind it. But then also that starts to like sometimes paralyze people into not being able to do cases like this. This second day really did like simplify it for me. It simplified the whole process for me where I realized like, internally deep down inside i did know all this stuff but i just needed a little bit of hand holding so that it's sequenced in a way that makes sense and i have the confidence to know that it works because they have been doing it for so long and then in the afternoon i gave my little 
you know, presentation for social media. I don't know how it went. Um, people were really nice. Like, you know, by the second day, you know everybody in the class. So uh, it wasn't as like scary because I knew a lot of people in the class and they're all super, super nice dentists. And I hope that like it helped motivate them to a certain degree on social media. And you know what I also realized is I love talking about social media. Like Dr. Ritter like asked me to talk about social media and it's something that's like in my blood because I do it every single day. And I was like, kind of shy about it because I don't, I'm not really like a public speaker, but once I got started going, I was like, I really love talking about social media. It's like something that I understand or strive to understand. And I hope that I can help a lot of dentists out there. Anyways, after that, um, we had like a charcuterie board and open bar in the actual practice and said bye to everybody. During the charcuterie thing, one of the big questions I asked Dr. Ramsey is like, how the heck do you have people working for you for over 20 years? Like their team is tight there. And you know, for a lot of dentists, I think uh, finding employees that are loyal, that like are, are motivated and care to work for you, that's like one of the big pain points. So what you don't see, you know, in part of the curriculum is what you see by going to the course. Does that make sense? It's like, like there's a curriculum where we're learning dentistry, but the environment we're in, we are soaking up how they actually do this type of dentistry. It's not about the dentistry. It's not about the dentistry. The dentistry is an important factor, but, but it's about the team that they have. It's about all the people that they have in their corner, um, like the SEO guy, the lab guy, all their social media marketing people, like they have a very tight knit team of people that make this thing go round. During breaks, you can ask them like, what loops do you use? What camera do you use? What are the setups and the settings for your cameras? Uh, what scanners do you use? Which of the printers do you like the best? So like there's so much in that office and you basically have them at your disposal just to pick their brains for like two days. And honestly, I think that that makes it worth the money. I just can't wait to take this information back to my practice and put a little bit of a Joyce spin on it. I almost feel like this protocol could have been like an extra day, like another day, because there's just so much information that these two have in how they run their business and how they do that type of dentistry that like, I wouldn't have minded another day, but obviously I was happy to come home and see my baby and get back to work. Anyways, thank you so much for watching you guys. And if you have any questions, then please let me know in the comments below. And thank you for following me around to all of my CE course journeys. This one was a solid one.